breaking news. Body camera video shows the moment a deputy tases a suspect at a gas station. Yeah, those flames erupted in a split second. Now, we warn you, though, this video is pretty intense. Oh, give me your hand. Give me your hand. No, I don't. Let me get tased again, dude. Get your hand down, dude. Yeah, you saw the yellow taser and then the fire shortly after that. Three deputies and a suspect were all burned. The sheriff says the deputy who deployed the taser should be charged. Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joins us live tonight. Valerie, some people are now bringing up that deputy's training. You spoke with an expert about this. What did they have to say? Hey there, Lou Wan. Well, law enforcement experts say despite training, sometimes emotions take over and mistakes happen. Oh, give me your hand. Give me your hand. No, I don't. In this video, you can see the moment Osceola County Deputy David Crawford used a taser on a man suspected of pointing a gun at people while riding recklessly on his dirt bike. That taser ignited a fire, severely burning himself and that suspect, Gian Barreto. It happened at a gas station back in February. Law enforcement experts say policies are in place and they are trained not to use tasers near flammable liquids. Uh, obviously, training plays a role in that, but even with extensive training, which we all have, um, that training erodes as your emotions uh, start to, uh, you know, dominate. Training, the policy, they're all put there for a reason. Osceola Sheriff Marcos Lopez has recommended his deputy be charged with culpable negligence, which is a misdemeanor. And back here live, this is a GoFundMe for Deputy Crawford. It's already met the goal of $20,000. Now, even though he made a mistake, the law enforcement experts I talked to today say they give him credit for trying to take a dangerous person off the street. Live in Orange County, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.